always wet. Just about to let you go inside. Well, back into the pool, huh? I swear that dog's part polar bear. Hey, what's up, garden friends? I've done this before picking up the camera. Cleaning off the table. That's worthy of filming a video over fun. Look at this. Clearing the table off for a reason. Got something special in the mail that I'll only be showing to you from the side because my address is written in like five spots on the front. No damage. Package looks good on the outside. Who knows what's going on on the inside? That was a slacking intro, by the way. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm great. No other way to be doing when you got a big package to open up that's full of plants. This is all from Equigenera, so you can kind of see written on here. Oh yeah, there's the website, equigenera.com. They had a sale back in uh, late June, early July. It's one of the fun things about ordering from them. They're in Ecuador, that's the Equigenera. But I had completely forgotten about this order, so that was a nice surprise when it showed up on the front porch. I'm surprised that I had forgotten about this too, because the plants that are in here are plants that are pretty stoked about. So that's something that generally goes without saying. I don't buy plants just to show them off on camera. They have to be things that I really, really want and uh, would enjoy having around in the garden, or in the house, really, because these are tropical plants. Get the top popped off of there. The, yeah, the whole point there, you order from Equigenera, it takes a while to get your stuff. They send their stuff out to Florida, I think maybe once or twice a month, something like that. Then they hang out there for a few days and get shipped to wherever their destination is in the U.S. So there's generally a delay, but it's a fun place to order plants from. They have an amazing selection, tons and tons of aeroids and orchids. If you're an orchid grower, check out Equigenera. There's a good variety of things to look at, and the plants usually show up looking pretty good. I don't usually have the best of luck when ordering plants internationally, so I get excited to order from them because their plants always come in looking nice. Though there was a heat wave while this was shipped, because it's summer. It's, just one, it's a risky take when you order plants during summer or winter. There could be some damage in here. I don't know. I don't ever expect plants to show up looking perfect. Jump into this. I know we're already a few minutes in. Not trying to be too much of a tease or at all a tease. You know, we all have our wish list plants, and these are one of those websites where I can get on, load up a cart, and there will be like $4,000 worth of items in the cart that I have to go through and dump out the majority of them because I don't generally want to spend too terribly much when I order plants. That's, there's only three plants in here. There are plants that I had seen on their website multiple times and had wanted and they just didn't make the cut when I did past orders. So that's, got some packaging paper in here. Have a look there. Okay. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Like I said, there is a heat wave. The moss is completely dried out. We'll get it rehydrated and it'll be looking good here in a couple of months. It'll put out some new foliage and look great. You want to know what it is? God, look at that leaf. That is stunning. So much color in there. This is Philodendron Columbia. One of my favorites, a pretty basic philodendron. They have some of the most beautiful leaves on them, in my opinion, right? There are a lot of different philodendrons out there, but this is one that's pretty easy to grow. Doesn't really get massive. It'll get much bigger than this right here. Turbo, come here, don't bark. All right, you're free. Go play with your toy. Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Your typical heart-shaped foliage. The other leaves on here are looking sad. I'm trying to be pretty gentle with this too, because as I mentioned, the moss is dry and you can see it's not the happiest right now. You get an idea of all of the color that this philodendron has. The veining is very deep, really sinks down in there, and there's so many various shades of green around the veining on the leaves. It's one of those plants where whenever I see it in pictures, I'm always like, no. Like that, there's no way that it has all that color in it. They don't look real. It's a characteristic I really like with a lot of philodendrons and some monsteras where sometimes, oftentimes, the leaves have this finish to them where they just, they look like a photograph. Like you, you'll be looking at them in person and just go, what? it doesn't make sense. Like, how is that real? It's a pretty common and affordable one. I'm going to get this soaking. Take this and it's little moss clump that they wrap them in for shipping. Drop this back here into a pitcher that has some water in it so that can have a nice good soak. And because of the heat wave and stress that I assume these plants have been under during shipping, I uh, set some water out so that it could just warm up to ambient temperatures. And I took the box right around back. This hasn't been in the house yet because it's like a 30, 35 degree temperature change bringing it in the house. Seems like it'd be a good idea to minimize any shock that the plants are going through. I'm only soaking this long enough to get the moss to soak up the water. Once it's done that, I'm going to take it and set it someplace in the shade. 
let it relax and get them potted up probably in the morning. That's because I don't have very much aeroid mix right now. So it's just gonna have to keep the moss nice and damp for them. That's the philodendron. Once it gets rehydrated, it'll be totally fine. Main thing is just not overdoing it with too many changes. All right, this one's cool. Are you ready for this one? Can you guess what that is? Yes, no, maybe. Very Gloriosum-esque, right? That's because it is. This is a Philodendron Gloriosum Pink Glory. Pink Glory is a cross where they took the Philodendron Gloriosum and that got crossed with Philodendron Lenamii. Gloriosum, one of my all-time favorites of the Philodendrons is have those classic big heart-shaped leaves with some silvery whitish streaking in the veining on them. A very easy one to grow, pretty vigorous as far as the philodendrons go. Another crawler like the Columbia up there. Did I say the Columbia was a crawler? The Columbia is a crawler. The Lenamii, which by the way, I, my mouth does not like saying that word, so I'm probably gonna butcher it a few times, but it's a really cool philodendron. It's one that also has a heart-shaped leaf on it and its new foliage comes out vibrantly pink like very vibrantly pink and then that fades to green just like pretty much all the philodendrons that sometimes put up nice looking colorful foliage the pink glory is supposed to as it mature maintain some nice looking pink veining on the back of the foliage i don't know if the new foliage with this cross is going to come out with that pink color i don't think it will I haven't seen that in pictures but there aren't a lot of pictures to go around of this specific cross right here but the appeal is that they have more of a kind of a chartreuse green foliage on them than just the regular Gloriosa. And the leaf is just a smidge bit more oblong than big and heart shaped. It's the slightly lighter color and the pink veining that you get on the back of the foliage and some as well up on the stem and on the petiole. Some of that down there at the end of the runner where it's ready to put up a new leaf. Just overall a cool plant. I love Gloriosums. And I've been interested in trying some of the crosses, but a lot of the crosses that there are with the Gloriosums, they're a fair amount. It seems to be a fairly easy one to hybridize, so there are others out there. The other one's called something Glory. I can't remember. I don't like it. I, it's not, I'm not a fan. The foliage on that one uh, that I think is going to be very popular because it's not very expensive and it seems to grow prolifically and propagate very easily whatever this thing is that i'm talking about uh, the name will have been up here on the screen i'm just not a fan of the coloration on the growth on that one i'm picky about my greens and browns and uh, it's just not for me but that's just me to each their own everybody can like what they like all right i'm gonna pull this one out moss has soaked up most of that water get the pink glory in there and then can open up the last one i went ahead and topped that off took some water from the dogs water fountain may have slightly overdone it it's okay it's only gonna be soaking in there for a few minutes you ready to see what the last one is it's a big one and uh, i already have one of these but i like it so much that i was like i should get another one uh-huh yeah a little bit of discoloration in there guessing you can probably definitely tell what this is just from the back of this leaf there's a lot of paper in here it might take me a moment to actually get this thing out of here Ugh, look at that leaf yeah, and that's why I love it, that leaf. So pretty. Just a big Vichii, an Anthurium Vichii. This of the big long-leaved Anthuriums has to be by far my favorite to grow so far. I also got one of these from them back in the fall time. And that plant, it's just, it's a freaking trooper. Solid, sturdy plant as far as Anthuriums are concerned. Had my Vichii with my Warwickianum and the between the too. It's just night and day, at least as far as my conditions that I have for growing plants are concerned. The VGI has just been amazing. Tossed out new leaves. Well, I say that as if it was growing like insanity. It wasn't, but it put out new leaves throughout the winter time. while some of the other plants, the queen, the Warokianum, would be throwing a fit three feet away from it. That's because my growth space has a huge door and it's a garage. So the humidity fluctuates a lot. Anytime that garage door opens, it stays down long enough. The humidity in there stays around 75 to 90% sometimes. But as soon as, you know, the wall opens up, then that humidity is gone. It takes a couple hours for it to come back. The queen wasn't a fan of that. Now I know. That was the whole point. I learned. The Vici eyes didn't skip a beat. That's why I went ahead and got another one that's slightly larger. And it just, it looks great, doesn't it? Look at those leaves. It's so shiny. And the ripples and the texture. I like the ripples because they remind me of fountains or waterfalls. I see tranquil movement when I look at that. I hope I didn't. Did, was that too much? Did I go too deep? There it is. 
that's the last of the plants. Going to give the uh, pink glory probably another five minutes to soak and get all these moved into the shade for a few days because we're in a heat wave right now. It's like triple digits. Don't think that they're going to appreciate that. I expect all these to probably drop a few leaves and maybe look crummy for a while. But once they're potted up and they're near the misters and have the nice humidity out here, I think they'll bounce back and look pretty dang good fairly fast, as fast as you can expect for a plant like Avicii. Oh, did you want to see the, there's the root mass. It's wrapped in moss. I don't, I don't know, how do I show you this? I don't think I do because I don't want to pull the moss out from this because I'm not ready to pot it up yet and it's hot outside, so that would just stress the plant out even more. I will have something up here on the screen just a yay or nay to healthy looking roots. Okay, that was fun. Nice, somewhat surprise package. As soon as I saw the front porch, I was like, oh yeah. The Vichy and the Pink Gore and the Columbia are here, but you know what I mean. Didn't know when it was going to be coming. That was the surprise. Anyways, thanks for hanging out. Comment down below, say hi. What have you ordered from Equigenera or some of your favorite places to order your aeroids from? And what would be useful in the comments is to talk about what some of your easiest to grow aeroids have been and what your conditions are like. You can sum up what your growing environment's like and say how your favorite plants have been doing there. I can give people something to look at and say, hey, if that's working for them, maybe it'll work for me. I have some more conditions and they're really liking this plant. Maybe I should give it a try. Okay, here in Thunder, time to go. Hope everybody's doing well. Having a great day, a great life. Everything's going absolutely beautiful for you. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.